Hey guys, I'm Teresa. Welcome back to my channel, Lost My Thread. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own flower crown. This coming weekend, I am off to a summer party at the New Craft House, a fabric shop in London. I have mentioned this on my channel before. The theme of the party is peace and love, so it's very much meant to be a hippie, summer of love kind of vibe, and they're encouraging people to dress on theme, though you don't have to, and they were saying that they're gonna be wearing flower crowns, and I mean, if I realized that was gonna be an option, I was never gonna say no to a flower crown. I enjoy making them, I enjoy wearing them. They're actually really a pretty quick project to put together, so I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I make them. To get my supplies, I went along to the New Covent Garden Market. It's near Vauxhall, not the same as Covent Garden, New Covent Garden. They have a flower market most mornings and they start really early in the morning. There is a shop in there called Whittington's and they are open till around 11.30 in the morning and they do have a ton of artificial flowers. So you can make flower crowns with fresh flowers, really fun to do and I would have loved to but I felt like I wanted to make it well enough in advance for the party to not feel pressured and putting it together right before the party. Artificial flower crowns are going to last theoretically forever. Also means that I can then wear it other occasions as well so it felt like a little bit better value for money. So I went along to this shop with my friend Annette because she wanted to make a flower crown for the party as well. I did pick up some extra supplies, so there are a few things that you'll need if you want to make a flower crown, not a whole ton. One is you need some florist wire, and you're going to need a decent length of it, so you're going to want to be able to wrap it around your head at least two times, or the circumference of where you want it to sit. You also need some florist tape. Both of these things are pretty inexpensive, and I got them at Whittington's. I'm sure you could buy them online really easily as well. You'll need some kind of wire cutters to cut the wire for the the actual crown part, but also artificial flowers often have a wire going down the middle, so you're gonna need some kind of wire cutters to be able to clip those sections off just to get the bits of flower that you need. I think it's always good to have something that's kind of your focal point flower, so I went for some beautiful roses. Something usually you want that's a little bit more of a small to medium size. If it's too big, it might overpower the whole thing. If it's too small, you're not really going to see it. So I think my roses were a good choice for that one, and then I wanted some other fillers. Because my roses were quite pale, I wanted to have some bright colors, so I found some really lovely ones to fill in around it. You're always going to want some kind of green foliage as well. That's really going to help the colors to pop and make it feel a little bit more natural. My friend Annette wanted something completely different. She went for some really bright bold colors. I think hers were absolutely beautiful as well. I was absolutely spoiled for choice at this place. I am not kidding. They had so much greenery and foliage. They had so many really big bold beautiful flowers. They had lots of little filler flowers as well. It was so so hard to pick what we wanted to use but I'm so happy with the choices that both of us made. Now I did make the flower crown initially at my friend Annette's house, she was making hers at the same time, but when I made it I feel like I made it quite big and quite full and looking back I feel like it was maybe just a little bit too much. It was almost more leaning towards the bridal end and I feel like I wanted something a little bit more subtle, a little bit more everyday flower crown if that's a thing and I know that it's not a thing but hopefully you get the idea. My friend Annette went the other way entirely and she decided to just have some small little bits at the front, didn't bother going all the way around to fill it in and I think hers looks absolutely beautiful as well. I feel like this is just a good way to demonstrate you have so much freedom, there's so much choice of how you can make it your own. The other great thing about this is because you're just sticking it together with tape, it's so easy to just undo the tape and redo a section or redo the whole thing. So I undid the whole crown that I made before because I wanted to make it a little bit more smaller and subtle, and then I can show you guys how I made it. So I'm going to go right to that footage right now. You need to separate your big bunches of flowers and foliage into some smaller pieces. This is a good size if you want to end up with the fuller size crown that I made before, but I want this one to be a little bit tighter, a little bit less full. And you want to trim from the stem down. I'm going to go probably about an inch and a half to two inches. So depending on your flowers, obviously you have a, if you have a single bud, you know that you're going to want to have that on its own. If you have something like this, this is a little bit more of a sort of a bunch of flowers. It's sort of a, a, all coming off of the same stem. You can actually separate these out 
and they often will just pull apart. And I think I want to actually use each of these three individually. These smaller sections usually are just plastic, so they're easier to cut through. I would say for anything that's a bit longer, you want to be able to lay it flat. So I'm going to leave this a little bit longer. So rather than having just two inches from there, I'm going to have two inches long from that point. You need to measure the circumference of your head where you want the flower crown to sit. For me, that is about 22 inches. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit extra. Because the flowers can get onto the inside of the crown and add a bit of bulk, I'm gonna add half an inch for that, but then I also wanna allow a little bit so that I can have sections of the wire that will overlap. So I'm gonna add an extra half an inch for that. So I'm gonna cut 23 and a half inches times two, because I'm gonna double this wire up. So I'm just folding it in half. and then I'll cut it at that point. So this will be enough to double it over. So I'm just laying this out to get the approximate shape. And I know that I want these two to overlap by about an inch. So this is where I'm gonna start wrapping the two pieces around each other. So you just pull one wire through the other and wrap it around the edge. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it's just gonna give it a little bit more structure. And that looks like the right size. So you start at what one end by just placing the first flower. I think it's a good idea to start with your biggest flower or one of your big flowers, so that way you know it's gonna be a good spot, a good focal point. This florist tape, it's green, so it's gonna blend in with all the stems. It isn't very sticky. It's slightly waxy feeling, slightly tacky, but when you stretch it out, it becomes much more sticky. So that's what you're gonna to use to put all the flowers on. You can tear it by hand as well. So you can just pull off a decent sized piece. You're gonna lay the flower with the stem directly next to the wire. And then you're gonna use the florist tape, just pulling a little bit as you go pulling it and wrapping it around. And then you just tear it off. So that is now sitting right up against that wire. You then pick the next flower you wanna place and lay it down. So remember, you're looking at the outside edge. That is what is gonna be visible. So that's what you're trying to make look exactly how you want it. So I'm laying my next flower down and then I'm gonna go ahead and tape it into place. If your tape breaks, don't worry. You can just tape the next bit on to secure it. The good thing about this tape is you can always take it off and start over again. So if you're not happy with what you're getting, there's no real commitment. You still have some flexibility. I think I want a little bit of green here. Be aware as well, you're gonna have some pieces that might have a bit of a curve to it. So you wanna use that to how you want it to look on the crown. Do you want it to stick up? Do you want it to stick out? Maybe you want it to not stick out. So you can put that one aside and find a piece that's a little bit less curved. So just bear all that in mind as you're building because that's gonna affect how it looks on the crown. And it's literally just as simple as that until you get to the end. And I'll show you when you get there. It's a little bit more tricky to work around the stems, but you can definitely make it work. As you get to the end, the main difference is you need to try and cover up the wire under this first flower. So it can be a little bit trickier to negotiate wrapping around there, but that's all you're trying to do. Same technique, just trying to keep this flower out of the way as you're going around that wire. And there you have it. Try it on, check you're happy, and you're good. And voila! I really love how this turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. 
it's really comfortable. You can always stick some bobby pins in just to secure it into your hair, but it feels pretty secure to be honest. I maybe just wouldn't want a big old breeze coming through, but I think it's a really fun and really beautiful accessory. Definitely gonna be perfect for the party that I'm going to, but would also be so much fun for just any kind of party get together, summer gathering, birthday special occasions. I think it's such a fun project and I really hope that some of you wanna try it out for yourself as well. Please let me know in the comments down below if it was fun to watch the process. If you're inspired to make your own, I would love to see it. So let me know if you do make one. Tag me on Instagram. I'm at Lost My Thread over there as well if you decide to make yourself a flower crown and feel fabulous, which is how I feel when I'm wearing mine. Please do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Give me a like if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!